Abaddon joined us. Hey, Nuke Knights. This is Nuke. After four years, this is what I commentate like, Miss Piggy. <laughs> okay, anyway. This is a recom of a game I've already done. Jengbi vs. Zero, fourth set of their semi-final series from the TVing OSL on New Sniper Ridge. Oh, very interesting choice from the donor here. Uh, this was a game requested by a donor, Paul Sisti. He gave a bunch of money to the Grow Huntington charity. So I was like, you know what? Pick the game, buddy. And this is what he picked. Alright, you guys ready? For something you've already seen. Well, hopefully you forget a lot. <laughs> I hope I do too. Although this is one of the better games on my channel. Except, ugh, almost missed it. But up here at the 2 o'clock position in red is Jangby. It feels weird to be doing this again. Up at the 10 o'clock position in orange is Zero. Two of the best players in all of Pro Brood War history. Playing in the last uh, Brood War OSL, the TVing from four years ago. God, it's been that long. But I thought this was a very interesting donor choice. Uh, this was a kind of an option I put out there in my charity video. It's like, you can make me uh, do a commentary of a game I've already done. I didn't think anyone would actually take me up on that, so I'm very impressed that Paul... Uh, he said this is one of the three videos ever that he's favorited on YouTube, and he gave me, like, proof of that. <laughs> Linked me to his uh, favorites list. It's like this one and Neil deGrasse Tyson video and what was the other one? No, I don't know. I forget. But uh, this is one of the better games on my channel. If you haven't seen this game yet and you want to hear me commentate it with kind of a a, a boyish like sense of awe, go watch the original commentary of this. Shouldn't be hard to find. Jang B versus Zero. Uh, for, it's one of the last videos on my channel, I think, since the TVing wrapped up, and I just did like a couple other videos. But the, um, thinking back to this game, I have gone back to watch my commentary of this game a couple of times, just because I remembered the game being so great that I went back to watch it. I was like, man, that was a really good game. So I remember quite a bit of it, but there is like one little thing that I didn't bring up when I first commentated this game that's been kind of bugging me ever since that I didn't bring it up because it is so, like, cool. So once that part comes up, then we'll we'll talk about that. But, uh, oh, I'm, I'm nervous. I feel very nervous uh, commentating. It's, I've done some, like, podcasts since I've stopped commentating, but I haven't commentated like any video games at all since I stopped watching and following Brood War. I had the, at least one comment on the, the charity video that was like, Nuke, uh, it's obvious you don't want to do this anymore. I don't know why we'd want to force you to do it. And, and, that, and that's not really the case. Commentating is fun, but... Uh, I'm just not in the scene anymore. I'm not entrenched like I used to be, and that was always my um, my strength as a caster was being able to bring up what was happening, you know, like what someone's record was if they're doing well against Zerg or uh, what they did against this player the last time they played them. And I just don't have that anymore at all. Uh, there's uh, let's uh, commentate the game a bit. Jangbi was he put up his wall at the front. He's got one cannon there that I saw. I'm not sure if he was warping the second in or not. You'd think I would know since I saw this game before, but I'm kind of going at it with fresh eyes, a little bit. There's like the key points of this game I remember. There's some really cool plays in this game. Uh, maybe the most excited I ever got for a game was this one. Like at the end of this game, on my first run through of it, I think I just almost just jumped out of my seat. I was so like crazy excited. A lot of great plays in this one. But anyway, I'll stop being the hype man for it. There's the third base was coming up for zero at the 12 o'clock. Still trying to chase around that probe, get it out of there. Still only one cannon at the front. Uh, that will be important later because as you can see from the bases coming up here from zero okay the lair just morphed i actually don't remember that part i thought that the den came up first 
Interesting, interesting. Ah, oh, Jane, Jane B might have like done some time warping here to change the game. Maybe this is the dark timeline for this game. <laughs> That'd be awesome. But there's the there's the dead coming up first. But the lair coming up. Interesting, eh? Uh, those two tech choices at the same time. Um, but yeah, in terms of the charity, I want to give another big thanks to everyone who uh, donated. Whether it was, you know, just a little bit or hundreds of dollars, what some people gave, I, it, it just made all the difference in the world. The, the charity is doing fine. Jeannie is very happy about it. She got some office space for it to work on it more, and she's already, like, uh, moving on to, like, a second plot or something like that. So, everyone, super happy that you gave money. Even if you only gave the eight minerals. People were very, very happy. Trust me. And I was happy too that, you know, to see that kind of response. <laughs> so there's the second cannon now from Jang B. He's got the Citadel of Adun coming up. Let's see how many like names of buildings I forget. I think I'll get most of the units. Uh, the spells might be a bit tricky. No, no, I think I'll get all the spells. But the names of buildings, I have a feeling if the cursor is not over them. It, it might be a tough time here, peeps. But this probe does have a short life there, taken down by the Cavalcade of Zerglings. That is not the actual name for a group of Zerglings, but there is Hydra chasing around the first Corsair coming out. <laughs> I'm just run wondering when the rust is actually going to kick in here. When I'll go, oh, he's attacking him with the... Uh, uh, uh. Yep, it's going to happen. Templar Archives... And three cannons at the front now. Since Jangbi saw the Hydra list, he's like, okay, I don't want to get busted here. I'm trying to distract Zero and take down an Overlord out there with the Corsair, but Zero having none of that. Uh, trying to take down this wall at the front. Um, around this time, Zerg players have gotten extremely efficient at taking down uh, the Protoss wall. Know exactly where to put those, those Hydras. I almost said Lurkers. Oh my god. It's going to be a rough time. Uh, but exactly where to put the Hydras once the Hydra range comes up, uh, the Spine range. Yeah, you'll see it here in just a second, actually. I remember this part, because uh, Zeri lines his Hydras up at the exact right place for when the range comes up, he's going to be able to attack. There's the Overlord getting a little bit of scouting information there. Look at that line! Just as soon as the range comes up, ready to take down this Forge before it gets the plus one upgrade for those Zealots. Which I, I don't remember if he... I don't think he does get the upgrade for this. Yeah, he cancels it before the forge goes down. So no plus one attack for those zealots. Uh, six cannon coming up, but is it too late? <laughs> so uh, a bunch more gateways inside of the main for zero. Not zero, Jangby. Oh my good lord. But uh, uh, everything out front of Jangby's natural expansion now. Here comes Zero trying to attack. Oh, the fifth cannons. The sixth was just now coming up. Three cannons in the back. And all those zealots and all those probes should be enough to hold for now. God, this is actually pretty exciting. Yeah, I, I didn't think it would be uh, this exciting since I already know what's going to happen, but it is really exciting just watching uh, these kind of interactions. The, the Hydra breaks were always one of the most exciting parts of Pro Brudoir. Because it's such a razor edge of, uh, is the Protoss going to hold? Can the Zerg get through? And like one Zealot can make all the difference in a situation like this. But there's a Corsair still trying to get a bit more scouting information. Uh, fourth Cannon... Jane B playing it very safe, which is good. Around this time, or like a year prior to this, like 2011, there's so many Protoss players just dying because they refuse to spend their minerals on uh, the cannon at the front. Like, one extra cannon is all you need. All you need. So, yeah, after that year time, Protoss players started to play a bit more safe, but the first brilliant attack of the game, Zero coming up with all those overlords feigning a drop, which I'm surprised worked on Jangby since he sent that one overlord up a little bit uh, quicker to scout. But check this out. 
This is one of the best plays Zero has ever done. Took a lot of um, psionic storm damage there, though. Uh, there's uh, the egg on the choke. Love it. So great. And, and Jamie was trying everything to get out of this. He stormed on top of the egg. He's trying to break the egg. Uh, I think he wised up there, used that second storm on the low ground, knowing he'd have to, he'd have to get rid of these Hydras eventually. Um, once the Lurker is no longer a threat. Lurker going down before the first Observer is out. Uh, but luckily for Jang, he does, he does have his robotics there. The first Observer pops up. So he's going to have the vision uh, to get rid of these Lurkers so they're not going to be that much of a threat. And these probes putting in work, man. Uh, just keeping those Hydras away from the second base as long as possible. Uh, could have been a game decider, I'm not sure. There are a lot of like tiny mistakes uh, from Zero in this game, and that was one of them. He's being fended back by this probe. He could, probably could have just stood his ground, mowed through them, and then backed off once all those probes are gone. But look at this. Watch this part. Oh, I love this. So the height. Uh, look at this. The only thing that can take down this Hydra is the storm or that probe. Probe takes down the Hydra. Oh, I wish I had mentioned that in my first run through this game, because it's just so amazing. Uh, keeping Jang B from wasting a storm on one Hydra, that probe, man. Hero probe. So, uh, <laughs> now Jang B fighting back Zero into the middle, just trying to keep him away from that base as long as possible, just get his economy cooking. That is, like, critical in this game, that he mines a little bit longer from that second base. It's not much longer, but it's just enough. So here comes Zero, finally going to destroy the base. No cannons, no anything to stop him. And and now is when Zero starts mating, making a lot of little mistakes. Uh, we can analyze this game a bit to see what Zero could have done a little bit differently. Because spoilers, Zero loses this game. If you didn't want to know that, you probably should have watched the, the original commentary of this. Oh boy. But here's uh, some Zillots doing nothing in the middle of the map. And Zero's game plan right here is actually really smart. It's a contained strategy. But he, he just doesn't hold it long enough. He eventually just retreats back into the middle of the map. Which I don't think was the way to go. But here's the shuttle. Red health could easily have been taken down by just a couple of Hydras out there. But I'm trying to remember exactly what he goes for when he drops inside the main. Because Zero um, was trying to get his economy back up at this point, I think. He has that third base up at 12 o'clock, but he was not mining from it at all. He was mostly just using it as a hatchery to get extra units out. And there's another hatchery coming at the, the natural expansion. Very smart from Zero, just trying to destroy the economy. Um, maybe should have dropped in the middle of everything there, because the probes, uh, once a player knows their probes are in danger, they're going to select a mineral. Just have them all go to one of the minerals on that patch. So putting them in the middle would have probably covered more bases there, uh, with those lurkers. But, there is, Jang B was trying to disrupt the mining a little bit. I think he disrupted it a little bit. Didn't take down too many drones or anything there, though. But this is when the game really starts to fall apart for Zero. He was trying to hold this contain, and he was, I think, really close to doing it. If he had held this contain, this would have been uh, perfect. Or, uh, yeah, he went back up to try to harass a bit more with this Lurker, when he could have kept that Lurker on the low ground. Uh, keeping that Lurker on the low ground might have made all the difference, actually. It would have uh, forced Jang B to waste more Storm. Of course, he took out more mining here, but uh, the mining wasn't really the issue. He had cut off the second base. Uh, the bigger issue was the army that Jang B was amassing, so just keeping that inside the base should have taken priority. Um, uh, yeah, Zero he brought all of his troops back to the little high ground area right next to his natural expansion. And he was morphing these lurkers at just the wrong time. Um, he could have had those, like, doing a little bit of extra blocking at the natural expansion for Jangbi. I mean, he could just put them on the choke. Why not? 
And to just guarantee that Jang B, there'd be no way to get out of his base, uh, except with a shuttle or something, which he'd easily be sniped uh, by Scourge since he didn't take out uh, the Spire earlier. But now, yeah, Jang B coming in with the huge army he has amassed, uh, which wasn't really whittled down at all by the contain. And then just, just oh, bad micro of the Hydras from Zero. And uh, all these lurkers being useless and just the yeah, late game Archon sort of. Well, I guess mid game. But once the Archon army starts getting uh, critical mass here, it is very hard to fight back uh, for a Zerg. Just all that splash damage. And so I, I'm pretty sure that Zero, his economy was just crippled at this point, and, and he just wasn't sure what to do. He was trying to pump, but he didn't have the like the necessary economy to support hydras and there come the reinforcement zealots which would have locked this down if the gg hadn't happened right there so there you go oh zero zero was so close to winning that game just going back and watching it oh, i can't believe it's over already oh i was just having fun well i'm gonna have to commentate some more games but i do think that zero is very close to winning that game just a couple different decisions goes to show you how high the level of skill got near the end of the osl's run but okay this has been nuke i'm gonna move on to some more donor suggestions <laughs> 